What's going on guys? We're back. This is another one of Huggy's Beer Reviews and that's right, we're back to the beer reviews. I know I was doing a lot of swill videos and bullshit videos and I got away from the beer reviews, but we're back. Even though it's ugly as hell, it's about to rain, it's a crappy day, but I have one hell of a fucking beer. At least it better be one hell of a beer. Um, take a look. This is Hoptimum. This is from Sierra Nevada. This is a limited edition kind of beer. This is a whole cone Imperial IPA. Now this is kind of going to be part two of an unintentional trilogy because about a month or so ago I did my review of the 2012 Hop Slam, which I thought was very disappointing even though it is a very highly rated beer. Um, I thought it was unbalanced, I thought it was boozy, and it was like two months old or something when I drank it, and a lot of the replies I got were, well the problem with the beer is that it's two months old, you have to drink it fresh. Bullshit. If I pay $18.99 for the six pack, unless it has clearly printed an expiration date on it, I expect it to taste good whenever the hell I want to have it, as long as it's within a reasonable period, you know, several months, six months, whatever. So I thought that was a disappointment. Um, and now I got pretty much the same thing from Sierra Nevada, their Imperial IPA, limited edition, big badass Imperial IPA. And I also have the Swamp Ape from the Florida Brewing Company, which is coming up soon. So we're going to see how Hoptimum compares to uh, Bell's Hop Slam 2012. This was recently released. It is the 2012 Hoptimum. I love the, uh, I love the label, old school portrait of a guy with a hop for a head. I guess he's a hop head. Um, the ultimate whole cone hop experience is what it says. <clears throat> now, I told you guys I wasn't going to just do Beer Advocate anymore. I'm going to do Rape Beer as well just to give you an idea. On Beer Advocate, Sierra Nevada's Hoptimum Double IPA, which is 10.4% alcohol by volume. So says Beer Advocate. Um, it's rated at a 91 out of 844 reviews. Okay, switching over to Rape Beer, Sierra Nevada, Hoptimum, 10.4 alcohol by volume, and out of 655 ratings, it scores a 99. Now, in all fairness, one of these bottles is empty. If you watch my St. Pauli Girl uh, grilling video, I killed the six Pauli Girls, the 24 ounce Bravado, and then I had a Hoptimum, which I shouldn't have had. But uh, since I was kind of drunk by the time I had it, I don't really remember what it tasted like. I didn't rate it, so it's pretty much like I've never had this before. So let's see, real quick, let me read what it says. Hoptimum is the biggest whole cone IPA we have ever produced. A 100 IBU whole cone hurricane of flavor, aggressively hopped, dry hopped, and torpedoed. Hoptimum delivers ultra intense flavors to hop fanatics everywhere. We shall see. So without further ado, and I don't know if you can see that, but look at that cap. I love that cap. It's the little hop head portrait guy. Whole cone Hoptimum, all right. Here we go. Ooh, smoky. Joe B would appreciate this beer. And of course, the uh, IPA goblet, where all my IPAs go. I have had this uh, four pack out of the fridge for about 10, 15 minutes. So the beer is not super frosty. And off we go with Hop the Moon. All right, it's filtered. It's, it's a beautiful amber color. I wouldn't call that light amber. I wouldn't call that dark amber. That's just about amber, guys. Um, kind of like a heavy gold, bronzy gold. You know, I can see through it. There's a slight haze to it, but it's pretty much a filtered beer. Slightly off white head. Nice, uh, nice three quarters of an inch ahead there. Thick, frothy, hoppy. Oh, wow. Citrus notes, sweet fruit notes, a little bit of pine. It smells like a hoppy ass beer. Um, and there is a bit of a sweetness that could be from the from the from the malt in there. But uh, I mean it looks good. It smells good. Yeah, off we go. Cheers.
Well, this is better than the, than the uh, hop slam any day of the week. All right. The body is approaching medium. I mean, okay, no, it is medium. You know, there's a richness to the body. And as it warms, it will become maltier, definitely. Um, you get hops hitting you up front. Hops hitting you almost across the middle. Hops hitting you at the end. It's a nice mix of a, a citrusy, a grapefruity, you know, a, a slightly fruity, and a piney. It's a good mix. It's, it's, it's a nice balance of hop flavors. Um, resinous towards the finish, and just a little bit boozy, a little bit of alcohol warmth does come up on that, on that exhale at the end there, but it's well balanced. That's great. It's, it's rich, it's, it's a big beer. Do not, do not mistake the little stubby bottle, man. This is a big beer. Um, 10.4 ABV, that's pretty damn big. But for a really big, super hoppy, limited release, double IP Imperial A, um, yeah, um, glass full. It's well balanced, it's not too heavy with the body, it's not too malty. But there's enough of a body, enough of a malt character to balance the intense hop flavor. Um, this may be too bitter for people who aren't used to IPAs to drink. It is an intense hop character, hop bouquet, hop everything. Um, there's kind of like a dryness to the hops, yet there's a richness to the hops. And there's definitely that, that resiny, resinous um, aftertaste and lingering bitterness. So if you're a hop head, if you're one of these guys, drink this beer, buy this beer, find this beer, enjoy this beer, um, and enjoy it with care, 10.4%. Um, it gets my seal of approval. This is a glass full beer. If you want a big, badass, limited double IPA, forget the Hop Slam. Go for Hoptimum. Good stuff. Um, it'll probably be the best of the batch. I don't expect Swamp Ape to really compete with this, even though it's a decent uh, IPA. But... That review will be coming soon. In the meantime, guys, we got more craft beer on the way. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And we'll be back soon. Cheers.